What's up guys, Shan here from Kai Down Under. I'm back in the beautiful Milford Sound, deep south in Zin. Uh, one of the most beautiful places on earth. I've got the bro Sammy here with me. He's just launched the boat. It's about half past four in the morning. We're up bright and early. Um, we're ready to get out there on the mission. Yeah, there's bluefin tuna running at the moment, so we're really hoping to crack one of those. And I really want to crack my first kingy, guys. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll see you guys out on the water, eh? Just here out the front of Milford. Um, check out that scenery behind me. That's picturesque, that is. Oh, thanks, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Sammy. I'm talking about uh, that beautiful sunrise. We've got a full moon in front of us, too. Well, it's almost full. Trolling for a bit of bluefin. Not absolutely glass flat, but man, this is primo conditions. So we've done about oh, half an hour of no success with the bluefin. It probably takes, you know, probably should have a bit more patience in there, but we're at the drop spot now anyway, so laying down for this uh, this pooker. The sun's just decided to pop up above those ranges over there. Oh, I think we're getting some fucking bites here. I'll cut those bait in half there. Oh, we want a pooker, eh? A blue nose. Blue nose. I can't believe it on the pace of Bruno. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Look at him. Yee-hoo! Look at the cookies. Man, yeah! So cool. Nice! <laughs> Shot, brother! <laughs> Shot, mate. You want to see? Yeah! Thanks. Not a month, brother. Fuck, look at my cuz. Oh, the blue nose! That's a massive oh. blue nose, Z! That's a massive blue nose. Eyes, man. Yeah, it's a good blue nose, brother. Good fillers on there, bro. I think they have some. Your face. Yo. Man, looks like we're on again. Hopefully, there's something big on here. Just giving it a, giving it a decent tug, anyway. Forty minutes to go. Another big oh, window seat. Mean. Woohoo! Mean Sammy. Can't complain with that, eh? Mate. I will not. Get this fucking thing out. It's a successful mission already, I reckon. But um, ah, still plenty of still plenty of time. It's uh well only 7.30 and we've already got massive feed on the board. Fano's gonna be happy when I bring that home. Got the weedies on now, so. We're gonna head back inshore soon. Um, hit a reef, try and find some current, and hopefully knock over a kingy, eh? Oh, yeah. Sleeping on the back of Sammy's truck probably wasn't the best preparation for a day like today but we're here now anyway so it's time to get into it I knew as soon as that Moana hit my face things would be all good and I'd just calm right down the main goal well the main hope for this spot was to knock over a kingy but we thought with the current not running so much and it wasn't very fishy that we'll just start off by getting our crayfish and just as I expected, this place is absolutely out the gate. You're crazy everywhere.
Every time I enter the depths, I feel an incredible sense of privilege. We're so lucky to be able to take this beautiful resource from the moana to feed our families. This cray that I just picked up, this medium sized cray, um, ended up having a soft shell, so I released it back and hopefully it breeds for another day. Bit of crease that, that uh, currents picked up a little bit now. Seen heaps of bait fish coming too, so it's a good sign there. Let's see if we get back to the boat, gotta get those crays on ice. And uh, he's gonna pick me up around the corner. I'm just gonna float down off this wee point, and yeah, hopefully, there's a wee pressure point there. And maybe there's Kingy there. I started to drift down this uh, current and it started to get really fishy. It was looking really promising there for a second but um, things just didn't eventuate and I didn't end up seeing any kingies at all. Now, the good thing about Milford and the viz being so crystal clear was it gives you that confidence just to push yourself a bit harder and dive a little bit deeper. Um, this dive that I'd done here was about 18 meters so that might not be a lot to some people, but to me that's pretty good considering uh, back in the days when I first started, even 5 metres was, I thought that was impossible, so for me that was just awesome to get down to that depth and have a bit of bottom time as well. No luck on the kingies, uh, that bait fish started coming in and a bit of current there but yeah just didn't didn't happen so decided to get back out to the depths chuck a few lines out try our luck at some tuna again but um yeah we might head back in later and try again for another kingy No luck on the bluefin guys, so yeah, we decided to come back in shore. Hopefully knock out a feed of powers. Check out the fizz down in there, it's on man. Just getting suited up again and we'll jump in at this spot, see what we can find. Wouldn't mind getting a couple of table fish as well. Something for the lunches and something for some dinners. We'll see you in the water. I've said it before but I'll say it again, the underwater terrain here is absolutely out the gate. There's just rocks, ledges and boulders everywhere. Perfect little hiding holes for crayfish everywhere. I think even maybe a blind man could get one. Even in this shallow water about 3 or 4 metres we were still finding crays. But we have to leave them behind because we already had our limit. I stumbled across a nice wee patch of powers while Sammy was away looking for some as well. And you can see me here measuring these ones as I go along. Uh, that way I can put them straight back if they're undersized. In this spot I noticed there wasn't too much powers around so I didn't want to take too much um, so we didn't end up taking our limit um, and that's just to ensure that the powers in this area stay nice and healthy in their numbers. So all the noise and commotion from me getting these powers off the rocks uh, must have woken up a couple of bucks that were close by because uh, one just started walking straight towards me. <laughs> Crack up! Yeah, 
Barbara's crack up, I was down getting a few A, I got about three or four off. Then I just looked up and there's a fucking cray just wandering straight towards me. Yeah, I'm like, the brave around here. <laughs> So we gathered a few more power here and just took some time to take it all in and admire the sights in this nice shallow water. And you can see right here, here's a prime example of how brave these crayfish are. They're just walking around with not a worry in the world basically. Moving on from the spot, we decided we were going to go trawl for some more tuna and then hopefully hit a kingi on a place that we've been checking out on the maps a little bit earlier in the day. Got our powers. Oh, we got 14 powers anyway. Did take our limit. Just having a bit of lunch. A bit of crayfish wrap again. Just doing a bit of. Got a few lures out. Trying some bluefin again, eh? Ah, I'm hoping to crack it. Something just hit the lure, but didn't catch on. Let's check out this coin here. Some big crays in there. Powers. Not the biggest ones, but they're all legal. Right, I also shot a little tarake, but um, yeah, I didn't get it on, didn't get it on camera. Last spot we um, went for a wee went for a wee trawl for some tuna and fuck I realised I must have left uh, one of my fins on the side of the the side barrier of the boat and it's fucking gone missing so I can't dive no more. Around me are familiar faces. Looks like that kingy's gonna have to wait. It'll give me an excuse to get up this way again, but far out I'm pretty gutted. Eh? You know I'd only just put those fins into the pockets um, just yesterday so fuck, I'm pretty gutted you know brand new brand new fins and now I need new fins and new fin pockets so um, I've just dropped uh, Sammy off over here at this um, wee pinnacle that's popping out we're in about uh, 30 meters of water um, around the outskirts of it and hopefully he's gonna do the damage and get a kingy but um oh well never mind we'll uh, carry on here and maybe see you guys back at Milford, eh? Pretty long day, it's uh, after 5pm now, you know, we're out on the water at 5am, so we got up at 20 past 4, but we didn't get to sleep till about midnight last night, so four and a bit hours sleep and then you know been out here for 12 hours i'm bloody buggered but um yeah don't regret coming for a second man it's been awesome out here primo day flat as sammy the last man standing Back to the boat ramp, pretty chuffed. Uh, Sammy shot a couple of uh, kawai and three tiraki out there, something extra to add to the table. Sammy's just uh, gone to get the car, and we'll get this boat uh, back up on dry land. See you guys on land. Well, these are my share of the kids, anyway. Pretty easy work when. Uh, Sammy, such a machine. <laughs> a couple of good bucks. That uh, blue nose. I've never tried it before, but fuck, it's an absolute unit, hey. And Kawa there that Sammy shot as well. A few power and some good terakihi. Favorite for sashimi. 
Back down home in Bluff now, made it safe and sound. Uh, fuck, what a mission that was yesterday. Um, always good to get out, um, catch up with the bro Sammy and have a good hit out like that. We had probably a 14 and a half hour day out on the water, which is quite exhausting, and then had to drive for about five or six hours home. I ended up um, going halfway with Sammy down to Lumsden and then um, drove the rest of the way by myself, ended up pulling over and dipped in and having a, oh, about an hour or two of a nap and then I drove all the way home ended up getting back at about 4 30 this morning and it's 10 o'clock now so running on empty this morning. Milford sounds quite isolated so there's no phone reception out there when I got back to reception I received some pretty stink pretty stink news a pretty stink message an old family friend of ours um passed away um he had been sick for a while but um yeah finally decided to let go uh rest in peace uncle nor i decided i'm just going to give um all my crayfish and all my powers for the tangi so yeah for those who of you who don't know what a tangi is it's um basically just a maori funeral in my culture representing the uh raro muscle top there today cook islands uncle nor was a cook islander so yeah representing that for you today uncle nor now the craze up in milford are real out of it they're really brave like a few of those crays were just walking straight out in the open and they'll, you know, I'd go out to grab them and they'll just walk straight towards me. They're not afraid at all. All this fish I am going to mostly keep for myself, the taraki and that kahawai. I'm going to have that raw, um, just put it in the fridge. It holds pretty well for a while. So, yep, I'll be having sashimi with all that. And this donkey of a blue nose, I'm going to fill it that out, cut it up into some steaks and apparently it, um, Store's pretty good in the freezer. Well, that's it for this episode, Fano. I hope you enjoyed it. Pretty gutted I didn't get my first kingfish, but hey, it just gives me an excuse to um, get back up to Milford again another day and hopefully knock one over, eh? Hopefully sometime soon. I could take away some negatives from that trip. I lost my lost one of my fins off my foot pockets, which, um, yeah, that's pretty gutting. Lost a knife and didn't get my kingfish or any tuna, but never mind, there's definitely some positives. I got out there, refilled the cup, uh, refilled the wairua and yeah it's just good to get out there and do something productive it's good to be back with the Fano. beautiful day here i'm gonna process this fish get onto the rest of it um fill it that out and then i'll go drop off this kai moana uh, to uncle Noor's Fano. come home take a shower and catch up on that well needed sleep uh, if you guys enjoyed that video uh, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button um, that classic old punchline like comment i really appreciate every comment catch you guys on the next episode of kai down under